Okay, let's now put some mountains onto this. Mountains can be dropped onto your map using what we call symbols. Symbols are pre-made graphic items. The symbols catalog that's currently active is usually shown down here. You can see that I've got the building and instructions catalog. Sorry, building and structures catalog here. You can change the various catalogs that you're working with by clicking on the symbols buttons ac across here. I'm going to select the minerals and mountains option. What has now happened is we have now gone back to the land style sheet. We are on the minerals and mountains layer and we now have a range of different mountains to choose from. When you're placing symbols onto your map, always think of moving from the left to the right and from the top to the bottom. We'll start with our maps by moving in that fashion. The topmost area is over here. So I'm going to choose some regular size mountains. And as you can see, as I move my mouse over, I now have a mountain on it. I'm going to place one at the very top here. I'm going to move down and place another one here, and another one here, another one here. It might be a little bit difficult to see on this screen, but each of these mountains that I'm dropping down is a randomly selected mountain. When you're looking at your symbols catalog here, you'll notice that there's a little symbol here, plus, which means there's more than one version of this particular type of symbol and the little R under me, underneath it means it's randomly selected. If you click on the little plus symbol you can now see that there's actually a whole range of different types of mountains underneath that one which we randomly selected as I click down on them. However I've used a couple of standard size mountains in here I now would like to put in a nice great peak. Let's make it really big and tall. There's one there's another big one there. I'll come back to using my regular mountains. I broke my rule there. I didn't quite put it in the right spot. And as you can see now, the shadows aren't going to work correctly over the top of it. I'll just fudge it by putting some over like that. There you go. There's some mountains on that island. Let's move some mountains onto this island. Just a couple. Good. I'm going to put a volcano in here. Let's scroll down to find a nice active volcano. You cannot have a pirate island without having a big ass volcano bubbling away somewhere. There we go. And we'll put some mountains, more mountains in there. Again, working down and left to right. Let's put a couple of larger mountains in here now. And we'll go up and we'll grab some great peaks. Gotta love those great peaks. The other thing that I'm doing here I don't know if you've noticed, as I'm using increasingly larger mountains as I'm moving forward along the map. The reason for that is it will give it a bit of a 3D sort of a look. Or rather more 3D than it, it already is. Oops. Now, I accidentally clicked on the wrong spot there. I need to undo that. Just simply come up to the Edit and Undo. There we go, and it's gone. Wonderful. There you go. There's our mountain range. And we'll put a little mountain there as well. One there. There we go. Fantastic. We now have a relatively good looking geographic sort of spread of mountains through this.